welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here at the ITU headquarters in Geneva. And we have another guest who's back for a second time. Hello there. It's Hi. Vicky Hansen. Many, many of you will know who she is. She's the president of the ACM, which I think has about 100,000 members worldwide, yes, that's right? Correct. So I've done yes. my research. Yes, good. <laughs> so why have you come back? Uh, I was here, well, obviously last year, and I was so impressed with the mix of people who were here. Obviously influenced by the UN, but we've got people here from all around the globe. We've got people from many different disciplines. And so ACM is the Association for Computing Machinery, and I'm used to going to conferences that are primarily made up of people from the computing field, right? Uh, what I really loved about being here last year was it was like any sentence you would say was challenged by someone who would raise their hand and say, no, from a legal perspective, you've got to think of this. From a medical perspective, you need to think of this. And so from my perspective, it's the whole interdisciplinary uh, aspect of this event that is just huge. All, all the different perspectives that I get both, as I said, culturally, geographically, and from a discipline perspective. One thing which I've noticed that the theme that's been really important to this year is the idea is that there has to be trust in AI. Oh, yeah. How important do you, do you think that we're overdoing it? Or do you understand that? Or? I absolutely do understand that. I just wrote a paper on that. <laughs> <laughs> Two it, geniuses here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is absolutely huge. I mean, what's happening in the popular press is that a lot of uh, potentially dangerous things that are happening with technology, it's not just AI, but technology in general, are being written about all the time and people are getting very scared of the technology. And I think um, as technologists and as everybody who's interested in using the technology, uh, we need to make sure to inform the public of, of the responsible ways in which this technology is used, what is true, what is not true, because people are not going to use the technology if they can't trust it. Yeah, it's huge. And, and so, I, in your paper, have you come up with conclusions, or are you saying we have to have a debate? So the particular paper that I wrote was from a different perspective. So I've been working with older adults for a long time, and this is a group that has always been talked about of, oh, they can't use technology, they don't like technology. And actually what we found out was they could use the technology if they wanted to, but the trust is not there. So it was very interesting exploring their issues of trust and what would make them trust the technology a little bit more, yes. You know, you're, you've been working on this for a while. Did you think we'd be at this stage with AI five years ago? I don't think I thought we would be here a year ago in some sense. You know, this has just really exploded. Um, AI is not a brand new term. It's been around for a long time. And it, people talked about it and there were movies about it for many, many years, right? But suddenly within the last year, it's like this is the hottest game in town and everybody is talking about AI and all the different aspects of it and how it really does have the potential to do good and then also the concerns about well what are some of the downsides because that's been brought out more this year than had been before. Yeah so. I mean I think someone said um, that you know it's 50 years to this, to this year that 2001 and HAL took over the spacecraft. That was me. It was you. Okay. <laughs> was um, is that a real possibility? Uh, if we aren't careful, sure. What can I say? I mean, the way these systems are being designed now, they are learning to think for themselves. So they're going to be able to do things that we don't actually teach them specifically, right? So we have to build into them some way of safeguarding ourselves. I was going to say give them ethics. I don't know if that's the right word exactly. <laughs> but um, yes, we, but the we right, want them to do the, the right, right things. The right ethic exactly. al algor algorithm. Exactly, right. yeah. yeah. Right. They're going to know more than what we specifically teach them. Right now, you know, they started with just, well, you give them examples and they learn from examples. It's going to be very different in the future. They're going to teach themselves. So finally, what would you like to come out of this three-day second edition of this um, summit? It seems like what is happening is there's going to be some concrete actions and I think that is absolutely fantastic. I don't remember concrete actions coming out from last year. Um, I was just talking to someone about the ITU putting together a paper talking about um, what all AI and technology in general can do for people and looking at it from a number of different perspectives, looking at some of the example projects in a year from now. We can come back here and we'll see what these projects have done. Okay. So I think these concrete actions are fantastic. Okay, let's put that in uh, that date in our calendars then. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Vicky Hansen, of course, who's the president and professor, uh, president of the ACM, 
which is 100,000 members, and a distinguished professor of computing at the Rochester Institute of Technology. That's right. Thank you again. Thank you. Good talking to you.